Uh, the, I think the number one technique uh, that salespeople don't do enough of is they don't ask questions about the competition. And that, that oh. is, I, I get, and I, get, I know it's something, that's why I want to bring it up because it's so controversial. Uh, but um, the process is, is, is asking questions. Hey, so tell me specifically about um, the other options that you're considering, who are the other alternatives you're considering. And, you know, if you, if you don't go forward with us today, because we haven't even talked any, you know, we haven't spent time together yet. Uh, but I'm just curious, before us, though, who, you know, who is your, who is your plan A? Like, who's your best so far? And, right. and, and then what makes them so great? Right. And they ask questions about that. Like what? And then, and then I'm curious, what are they not offering so far that's caused you to say, hey, I'm still looking at FPG. Right. Right. I'm still looking at us. And, and so then they'll tell you it's like, it's almost like it. I call it legal cheating because I, I'm, I'm it's almost like the, the, my competitor now has has done all the work for me. And I get to find out, well, who is the best competitor I have? And, and but also what stops the customer from buying from my competitor? And then all I do at that point this is what I teach is, well, then all you're doing at that point is you're showing how you can offer everything your competitor has that they like plus how you do it differently that is better for that customer than what the customer says they don't like about your competition. Right. And if you do those things, then you get the sale. Excellent.